All right, thanks, guys. Neiman Grodno takes on Torpedo Belaz Jodinho in a 12 p.m. Eastern kickoff. Torpedo's the plus money favorite at plus $1.40 with the total at two and a half, juice to the under. And if you like Grodno in an upset here, they're currently plus $195 for some money line cash. The draw is also plus a buck ninety. We're currently four and one in our last five dollar ninety nine tier package plays on patreon.com slash brock page. And that package will give you one super premium sports pick every day through the end of the month for just a dollar ninety nine. If you want to sign up for those premium selections or if you just want to check out the website, if you're curious, want to browse a little bit, the link for that website is posted in the description section below. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. Neiman Grodno is coming fresh off a 4-2 loss where they were doubled up by Rook Brest during that contest. They're also on a two-match losing streak, including a 3-1 multiple goal loss to bait Borisov as well. Grodno has been victorious in just one out of their last six matches. Grodno has also scored just six goals all season, which ranks last, dead last. In the 16-team Vishaya Liga, they're in 14th place with just eight total points in the division. Meanwhile, on the other side, Torpedo is coming fresh off a 3-1 win over Gordea on their side of things. They haven't lost a match in their last six outings, including a 5-2 victory over FC Minx and a 2-0 shutout win over Energetic BGU. Torpedo's 5-1 record with three draws has them currently in second place and just one point behind Bate Borisov for the top spot. Now, total-wise, two out of Torpedo's last four stayed under the total of two and a half goals. Six out of their last eight also stayed under that total. Meanwhile, on the other side, Grodno saw four out of their last seven stay under the two and a half as well. Might not be a bad spot here for under betters. Give me Torpedo Belaz Jodinho plus $1.40 in the under two and a half in that contest. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Thursday's Belarusian soccer action. Hopefully you're having a good week thus far. The weekend is right around the corner. Now before we go ahead and move on, I just want to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage. Where once again, we are currently 4-1 in our last $5.99 premium selections on that website we do daily premium sports picks on that site beginning at just one dollar and 99 cents through the rest of the month we'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that and speaking of our patreon packages we're currently 14 and 7 with a push in our last 22 two dollar and 99 premium selections when it comes to our underdog membership we're 12 and 6 in our last 18 picks in that dog of the day package, along with going five and two in our last seven board member tier package plays as well. A lot of great stuff going on right now. We have a bunch of different great memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. And all of those excellent picks are games that I personally have action on. They are my premium selections. So make sure you go ahead and click the link in the description section below. I'll also include a link in the comments section below as well. And once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with that, I'm going to slide into some more Belarusian soccer action. But with that said, this time we're going to take a look at a couple of the uh, matches in the Reserve Vashaya Liga, the Reserve League of this Belarusian Vashaya Liga. And we're going to start with Shakhtar Sologorsk Reserve taking on Belshina Reserve in a 7 a.m. Eastern kickoff. Shockers, the $2.86 favorite with a total at 3.5, juice to the under. The draw is currently plus 380, and if you like Belshina in an upset, they're plus 650 for some money line cash. And speaking of Belshina Reserve, they haven't won a match in their last four straight, including a 5 2 loss to Easlock Reserve during that span. They were also held scoreless uh, in two of those affairs during that stretch of games as well. Belshina has been victorious in just two out of their last nine. Also being shut out by Torpedo Belaz Jodinho reserve one to nil. 
They're taking on a Shakhtar team who just came off a 4-1 to dismantling of Slavia Mosier Reserve in their last outing. They've lost just two out of their last nine themselves, including an impressive 4-0 shutout victory over Smolovici during that stretch as well. They've scored 16 total goals in their last four victories. Now, total-wise, two out of Shakhtar's last four did get over the total of three and a half goals. Four out of their last six also got over that number as well. Meanwhile, on the other side, Belshina's last two matches got over that total themselves. They also saw five out of their last seven get over the three and a half. So this might not be a terrible spot for an overplay here. Give me Shakhtar Sologorsk Reserve winning this one straight up for some pricey money line cash and the over three and a half in that contest. All right, next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Slavia Mozir Reserve squaring off against Gorodea Reserve in a 7 a.m. Eastern kickoff. Slavia is the $3.50 favorite with a total at three and a half juice to the over. Currently, the draws plus 450. And if you like Gorodea in an upset, they're plus $7 for an outright win. And speaking of Gorodea, they're coming off an embarrassing five goal defeat to Torpedo Belaz Jodinho, giving up nine total goals in that embarrassment. They also lost in a heartbreaker 3 to 2 to FC Minx in their match before that one. Matter of fact, this Gorodea reserve squad hasn't won a match in their last nine outings, going 0-8 with a draw during that stretch. They're giving up 4.1 goals per contest on average in their last seven. But before you go riding off this Gorodea squad, just keep in mind that on the other side, Slavia Mozir's reserve you know, team has really struggled as of late as well, coming fresh off a thorough 4-1 beating at the hands of Shakhtar's reserve in their last outing. They were also shut out 1-0 in their... Uh, match before that to Torpedo Belaz Jodinho. Slavia has been winless in their last seven themselves with five shutout losses during that span. Now total-wise, two out of Slavia's last three stayed under the total of three and a half goals. Matter of fact, six out of their last eight also stayed under that total as well. Meanwhile, on the other side, two out of Gorodea's last four stayed under the three and a half themselves. So this could potentially be a pretty good spot for an underplay here uh, all in all though I think we're going to be gridlocked here in this match up here folks between two very bad ball clubs so with all that in mind give me the draw at plus four dollars and fifty cents and the under three and a half in that contest all right let's go ahead and dive into some shout outs and from our patreon platform shout out to Jay Williams Kyle Moran Bill McMahon Brian T Jose Lopez, Dwayne McNeil, Brandon Saunders, and Aaron Bell. Shoutouts from our Instagram platform. Shout out to Destiny Amaya, Big Sean Kemp, uh, Bubba Jonesy, Will Slade, Nurse Iscali, Real Gene, uh, Real Gene Snitsky, uh, Michael Rappaport, and Chelsea Lynn. And from our YouTube platform, gotta give a shout out to Dark Hill Arts. Adrian Kenny, Stephen Lewis, Ace King, Aussie Mika, George Emily, Aaron Kumar, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my man, Shakti Poppins. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash Brock Page. And like I said earlier, if you're interested in signing up for a package or a membership on that site, what, we'll do, uh, what we uh, do is we bill you the day you sign up, and then the first of every month following that. So the day you sign up, that's your initial sign-up fee, and then it'll go on auto payment on the first of every month. So if you sign up today, you're not getting 30 days from today. You'll sign up today and get uh, the picks through the end of the month, and then it'll reload on the first. So it really doesn't matter when you sign up. You get billed the day you sign up, and then the first of every month, Starting that, but anyway, it's great price, great value. So even if you sign up today and you're only getting, uh, you know, uh, ten to eleven uh, plays through the end of the month for a dollar ninety nine, it's certainly a, an exceptional value. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content and all this great free information. And with that said, 
Happy Wednesday or Thursday to you, depending on when uh, you're viewing this video. Uh, best of luck to you, and I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.